day students, I'm your teacher in English grade 9, Ma'am Lenny Vengano. Today, we are going to study all about verbals. But before we continue, let's have first objectives of this lesson. Number 1. Define verbals. Number 2. Identify the different kinds of verbals and their function. And number three, expand sentences and narratives using verbals. To formally start our discussion, try to answer this pretest. Identify the underlying part of speech. Number one, delighted with the opportunity to learn, Christine took the internship in New York. Delighted. A. Gerand, B. Participle, C. Infinitive. The answer is letter B. Participle. Did you get it right? Number 2. Completing the obstacle course is harder than it looks. Completing. A. Gerand, B. Participle, C. Infinitive. The answer is letter A. Charan. Number 3. They are sure the extra planning will make a difference in the end. Planning. A. Gerand. B. Participle. C. Infinitive. The correct answer is letter A. Gerand. Number 4. Anna's confusing message did nothing to solve the mystery. Confusing. A. Gerand. B. Participle C. Infinitive The correct answer is letter B. Participle Did you get it right? Number 5 Billy refuses to accept the idea that his birthday cake was gone. To accept A. Gerand B. Participle C. Infinitive The correct answer is letter C. Infinitive Don't worry if you did not get all the correct answers because this is just a pretest. So let's discuss what is verbal all about and its function. A verbal is a word derived from a verb that function in a sentence as a noun or modifier. So when we say modifier, adjective or adverb, rather than as a verb. Verbals include infinitives, gerunds, also known as ing forms, and participles, also known as ing forms and en forms. A verbal phrase consists of a verbal with its object and modifiers. For examples, running is a good form of exercise. Running, that is a verbal and gerund. Running in the morning is a good form of exercise. Running in the morning, that is verbal phrase which is gerund. There are three kinds of verbals. Number one, gerunds are verbals that end in ing and function as nouns, specifically as a subject. Example, exercising is good for our health. Exercising, that is used as a subject. B, predicate nominative. Example, Laika's favorite exercise is jogging. Jogging is a gerund that function as predicate nominative. C. Direct object. Example. Lester does boxing in the gym twice a week. Boxing. That is a gerund that function as direct object. Letter D. Object of preposition. Example. Merla keeps herself in good shape by dancing. Dancing is a gerund that function as object of preposition. And letter E, a positive. 
Example, my only exercise, walking, is not taxing. Walking is a gerund that function as a positive in a sentence. Number two, infinitives are verbals often preceded by the particle to that function as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. Examples, adjective. Do you have any food to bring to the party? To bring to the party is an adjective that describe the noun, food. Adverb, Aaron flew to Cebu to visit his grandmother. To visit his grandmother is an adverb that tells why the action word flew was done. Noun, to apologize takes courage and humility. To apologize, function as subject in the sentence. Alex likes to collect books about gardening. To collect books. Function as direct object of the main verb likes. Her only thought was to win. To win is a predicate nominative that comes after the linking verb was. He has no choice except to pass the exam. To pass the exam was used as object of the preposition except his goal to travel around the world was never achieved to travel around the world was used as a positive that renames the subject his goal number three participles participles are verbs used as adjective it makes use of the past participle of the verb like, for example, chosen, or its present participle, like, for example, ing form like caring. Examples The burnt popcorn smelled up the kitchen. Burn is usually a verb, but in this sentence, it is functioning as an adjective that describes popcorn. Another example Frightened by the zombies, Catherine ran into the nearest house. Frightened by the zombies. Frightened by the zombies is a participial phrase that describes Catherine. To test your understanding of the lessons, let's have this proposed test. Identify the underlying part of the speech. Number one. Jacob was the first student to volunteer for the cleanup crew. To volunteer. A. Gerund. B. Participle. C. Infinitive. So what is your answer? Nice! The correct answer is letter C. Infinitive. Number 2. Feeling sick from eating two cheeseburgers, the little girl took some Pepto-Bismol. Feeling A. Gerund B. Participle C. Infinitive Good job! The correct answer is letter A. Gerund. Getting up early in the morning is sometimes a challenge. Getting A. Gerund B. Participle C. Infinitive You are correct. It is letter A. Gerund Number 4 The plan accepted by the committee involves a tax cut. Accepted A. Gerund B. Participle C. Infinitive Yes, that's it. The correct answer is letter B, participle. Number 5. Jennifer said the best place to go on Friday is Playtime Pizza. To go. A. Gerund. B. Participle. C. Infinitive. 
excellent. The correct answer is letter C, infinitive. Okay, grade 9 students, I hope that you enjoyed our lessons about Burbank's. And you are now ready to answer all the activities in your AS for week 8. This is your teacher, Ma'am Lenny, saying, till next time, happy learning!